Hi, I'm Dr. Lori Kirshner, and this Animals Today Minute is about dog bites and how to avoid and prevent them. According to the CDC, approximately 4.5 million dog bites on people occur yearly. That means about 1 in 72 people get bitten each year by dogs. Now, we all love our dogs, but it's smart to know some of the facts about bites. National Dog Bite Prevention Week takes place during the second full week of April each year and focuses on educating people about preventing dog bites. According to the AVMA, most if not all bites can be prevented. By far, children are the most common victims of dog bites, followed by the elderly and, yes, postal carriers. We all know that the medical consequences of bites can be serious, like causing infections, causing severe pain, requiring surgery, causing disfigurement, and so on. The American Society of Plastic Surgeons reported that nearly 29,000 reconstructive procedures were performed in 2016 for injuries caused by dog bites. And dog bites often result in homeowners insurance claims. According to the data of the Insurance Information Institute, there were more than 18,000 dog bite insurance claims in 2017, with the average cost paid out per claim being about $37,000. When dogs bite, it is usually in response to something like the dog being stressed, scared, startled, or threatened. So the situations need to be managed by us people. And dog owners should properly socialize their pets. There's lots of information online about how to do that. And duh, we should keep our dogs on leashes when they're out. And choose the right dog for your family. And of course, make sure they're fixed. Do appropriate obedience training and keep them well exercised. Remember, a tired dog is a happy dog. A few especially risky situations have been identified, including when the dog is not with its owner, when the dog is with its owner, but the owner has not given permission to pet the dog, injured or sick dogs, dogs that are sleeping or eating, and growling and barking dogs. There are other common sense things to do to avoid bites, like avoiding placing one's hand through a fence where a dog is on the other side, and allowing dogs who want to be left alone their space. It bears repeating that far and away, most people who are bitten by dogs are children. So parents and dog guardians keep that in mind when they're near each other. Everyone agrees, even though dogs are man's best friend, there are too many people getting bitten by dogs. Do your part to make avoidable dog bites a rare occurrence. I'm Dr. Lori Kirshner, and that's your Animals Today Minute for today.